All right, guys, so we're going to start on our Mapit application. So we're going to start out by setting up Angular using the Angular CLI. So I already have it installed. If you don't, you want to just run the npm install g Angular CLI. And then once you do that, you can use the ng new command to create a new application. So we're going to say ng new Mapit. All right, and that should create a folder called Mapit with all the files in it. All right, and it might take a minute or two. All right, so you can see all the files it's creating. And I'm also going to open that up in my editor. So we want, let's see, projects and then map it. All right, and that's still getting set up. All right, so now that that's done, we want to CD into map it. And let's try and run ng serve. And that should start the Angular application. All right, now with Angular CLI, it's going to start on port 4200. Okay, so our app works. Now, if we go to the Angular 2 Google Maps documentation, if we go to getting started, it'll show us what we need to do okay we already have typescript installed we already have angular cli installed along with a new project so now what we want to do is install this angular 2 google maps so let's grab this command and we're going to stop the server for now and just paste that in and run it Now you are going to need an API key and this page actually has a link to it to where you can get it. So I'm going to open that up and if I click get a key, I should already have one. But if you don't, just go ahead and create a new one. So I have um, right here, map it. So we'll say enable API. And that should fetch the key. All right, so this is the key right here. I'm going to copy that. And for now, I'm just going to paste it in a new file. All right, so now what we want to do is go to source app and then the app module.ts file. All right, and if we look at the documentation, we have to include the AM, AGM core module right here. So let's copy that, paste that in right there. And now we're going to include this in the imports array. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. And then we're going to grab the API key that I just got. And we're going to paste that right in here. All right, and I'm going to make this a little wider. All right, so that should be all set. Let's go ahead and save that. Now for the app component TS, let's go into that file. And what we're going to do is just set for now a latitude and a longitude. So we're going to copy that, put those in as properties, save it. And then let's grab this right here, this SEBM Google Map tag. And we're going to paste that inside of app dot component dot html all right and you can see we're passing in the lat and long values so let's save that now if we run the server let's see where is it i'm going to say ng serve Let that load. Okay, so we can't see anything yet, but you'll see if we keep going down here, we need to actually add a, a container in the CSS and define a height for this element. So we're going to go into styles.css and just paste that in and save. Go back. And there we go. So it's showing a map and it's showing that point with the latitude and the longitude. Now I do want to grab uh, Bootstrap and include that, but we're going to use a customized version, so we want to go to bootswatch.com. All right, and I'm going to grab a 
let's see, what did I use? one was it simplex that's what it was so if we click download I'm just gonna grab the link here and copy it and then go into our index file and let's put that right here all right so we'll save that all right, and you'll see the margin is now gone. So I do want to use a nav bar, even though we're not going to have any routing or links. I just think it looks uh, a little nicer. So we're going to go to getbootstrap.com, as we have many times, and go to getting started, examples, and then the starter template. All right, and then we'll do a control U. And let's go ahead and grab, uh, we'll grab the nav bar. And we'll also grab the container. Okay, copy that. And then we're going to go into app.component.html. And for now, let's just paste this up top. And then we're going to, let's see, get rid of this starter template div. And we're going to put a div with the class of row. And then we're going to use a 12 column div so that'll be call md12 okay we also want uh, a div with the class of map all right and then what we did down here is going to go in there so we're going to cut that and just paste that right in there. All right, now for the nav bar, let's get rid of the fixed top class. And let's see, for the project name, we're gonna say map it. And we're gonna get rid of these list items. All right, so let's save that, see what that looks like. All right. So that looks good for now. So then we're going to stop the video here. And then in the next one, we're going to set up for now just uh, a static array of objects, which will contain a name, latitude, longitude, and then a draggable value. All right. And then we'll map those objects onto the map. And then later on, a couple videos from then, we'll start to, to persist it to local storage so that it stays there. Uh, and we can add more to it and so on. All right, so that's it. I'll see you in the next video.